We're gonna do a rear suspension upgrade on the race truck today. It's getting close to race season, so we gotta get this thing finished. <clears throat> Back suspension is a four link coilover, uh, QA1s, double adjustables. What we've got going on is uh, we're trying to get this suspension to lift or essentially push the tires down uh, when I take off. I've been working with Blaine Kilby from Kilby Motorsports on this. With where we have these bars set right now, it's pretty aggressive and it should do that very easily, but it doesn't seem to want to lift as much as what we think it should. What Blaine is thinking, and I agree with him, is that because I have this panhard bar, we think that it's creating a bit of a bind when the suspension should be moving. Um, we can lift and lower the suspension, no problem sitting in the shop, but once there's a load under it, uh, when we're taking off, it doesn't seem to move very well. Uh, panhard bars are fine in lots of different applications, but um, anything with a little bit more suspension travel, not that I have a lot, but I have some, Whenever that suspension drops, that axle is going to swing this way. When it compresses, it's going to go back the other way. It's not going to be just straight up and down. So what we're going to do is take that out. And I built a wishbone housing locator. And we're going to put that underneath there. And that should... Locate the axle left to right, and it should only go up and down. So potentially taking that bind out of the suspension. So these two links here are gonna attach to the rear, just underneath the axle. And then I have the cross member in front where this will go. And then as the suspension moves up and down, this moves, and hopefully that will Help us out a little bit. Uh, I just built this out of some DOM. Uh, this center piece is just some pin stock. I double walled the this part here. Just was told you probably don't need to, but I'm good at breaking stuff, so I'll build this part a little bit heavier. We'll see how it goes. I'm not a fabricator but I fabricated it. I'm not a welder, but I welded it. I'm not a painter either, but I painted it. It'll be good enough. Let's put this thing in. Okay, there it is in place. Looks pretty cool. So you can see it's mounted up to this cross member. Braced everywhere. And then down to the back axle on both sides. So you can see how that should work to keep the suspension straight up and down through its cycle. We'll finish bolting it up, then we'll pull that panhard bar out, and we'll cycle the suspension and see what it looks like. Okay, so you get a top view here. <clears throat> uh, this is the bar we're gonna take out, and then all that should hold everything 
in place. Hopefully, see what happens when we get this off of here. need that anymore. That's what was holding the truck axle in place. So if I had done anything wrong or my calculations would have been way off or that didn't do its job, as soon as I unbolted that, this whole truck would have just shifted one way or the other. But if I shake that truck a little bit, let's see it's Pretty solid. It should work. Now, now we got that out. Let's uh, let's cycle that suspension. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I've got the suspension up, basically as high as it will normally go. Um, I'm just gonna drop the suspension. I'm just using an engine hoist, uh, and you'll just see. There's there's not a lot of movement in here but it does need to be able to slide in and out for full suspension movement, but we'll just drop it and then I'll move the camera and we'll try it again. So that doesn't move very much. But all the same, I know there's some guys that will actually do them solid and I know you can, but I don't think I want to do that. So let's move it and try it again. We'll see how center this axle stays through this cycle. Okay, once again, uh, I've got the suspension jacked right up. You can see these are loose sitting in here. I may have to go with a, a lighter coil yet. These are 110s, but I don't know, they still seem a little bit stiff, but we'll drop it down and you can judge how center that axle stays as this axle, or as the suspension drops down. It's not too bad. I think that's a big improvement from the uh, panhard bar. I think that's, uh, that's gonna work pretty good. Anything that you can do to help your truck track straight, whether you're on mud or asphalt or anything, is, uh, is gonna help for sure. So now, I just gotta cut out that big ugly bracket there. That thing can go. And uh, yeah. That's getting close to race season, so get it back on its wheels. There you go. Wishbone housing locator. I also was successful in putting the very first scratch in my new paint. Uh, huh. That lasted 10 minutes or so, so that's not too bad. And then my drive shaft bolted in when I lifted it up. It fell and hit it. Oh well. It's not going to be the last one. Ugh. Just waiting on another set of tires. And then we should be just about ready. The only other thing I did, I added a little bit larger fuel cell. Well, it's one extra gallon. Because this thing is thirsty and it's ran out of fuel on my way back to the trailer. And I added in one more link to my cage down to the front of the frame there was nothing in here before so just to try to tie everything together i went a little nuts with the plasma cutter cut a couple holes in the frame it doesn't lose much weight but i can get the mud out of there that always gets packed up so yeah i hack it i don't care it works for me other than this once i get the tires on i'm going to paint the bottom of the doors, they're all uh, 
peeling and whatever. So we're gonna paint that up and then put it back on the scales. See where we're at, see if we lost any weight. I kind of doubt it, but. And then first race should be hopefully in Eureka, Montana. So if you're coming, let me know. I'll be there as long as they let me pass the border. One more thing. If you build your own stuff, this little table is awesome. Uh, I'm in Canada, so I got this at Princess Auto, which is kind of the American Harbor Freight variation. Uh, it comes with all of these, so you can clamp your work down. It comes with all of these for putting your tubing in place, keeping everything squared up. Uh, it was, I think, 200 bucks on sale, and it was worth every penny. It's not super heavy duty. It's not meant for heavy, heavy stuff, but this works really well. Not this, we don't need this anymore. This is garbage. All right, next time we should be heading to a race. Let's do this.